Yo, hey everybody, this is going to be a quick video on how to create a Gmail signature. So, a couple things. You're going to need to have open a tab that has your Gmail in it. You're going to need to have open a tab that has this setting up your Gmail slides. Um, this video that you're watching is going to be right here, I hope it should be. Um, and then here is going to be a blank schedule. I already filled this one out with like an example schedule. And a third slide, you're going to need to have your power school schedule here so you know what classes go where. So step one, um, you're going to fill this slide out. So you're going to watch and fill this out. I might actually move the order of this. Bloop, put that right there. You're going to fill this out and put your schedule in here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy the schedule. So you're going to use control C. So control C. What that does is it's going to copy the schedule into the clipboard of your, I make it a little smaller for us. Um, Oops, that's not where I wanted to just put that back down. So anyway, you copy your schedule. Then we're going to hop back into your Gmail. Gmail. So settings, when you click on this, there's going to be a little button that says see all settings. Click on that. Now we're going to scroll down to where it has signature. So right down here, scroll, 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 pretty close to the bottom, signature. No signatures. I want to create a new one. I'm just going to call it Scott Signature create. Now, over here, I need to put some text in, so I'm just going to say Scott, Zeglinger, and 6th grade, or 7th grade, depending on which grade you're in. Hit return, control V to paste, and just like that, my schedule is now part of my Gmail signature. The next step, super important, this is what kids have been forgetting to do, there's two steps actually. So, signature defaults, use signature. I want to go for new emails, use Scott signature and you could switch this to Scott signature whichever again give it your own title you don't have to call it Scott signature so right now it's set up to do that and then I'm going to scroll down here to the very bottom click on save changes after you do that it will be loaded up into your uh, gmail then after you do that um, send a couple practice emails to some friends and make sure that it goes in there but uh that's going to do it. So save changes is the last step. And don't forget, if it's still not working, another thing to check, that you set that signature to apply.